Those are the only two jobs a dog can have. He's fucking prostitute and cop, if you think about it. That's the only type of employment you can get for a dog. And I really never understood those cop dogs. That never made sense to me. Why the cops just, why, how the cops just pulled a fast one on society with the police dogs, you know what I mean? Because no one really raises a stink about them. But all they're doing is like just deputizing an animal and sending it to its death. That's all that is. And they get away with nobody buy, I guess it's because they use Nazi dogs. That's probably why. <laughs> It's German Shepherds, they don't have a very good track record, you know what I mean? Like if you did a black and white Getty Images search for German Shepherd photos, you get history's greatest hits, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's nothing good. If they were, you know, if they were sending a fucking pug into a drug den, I think people would be like, maybe we should rethink the K-9 unit. But yeah, they just get away with it. Nobody probably, and everybody acts like dog fighting is the worst thing in the world, which, I'm not gonna get in with you, but if you got a problem with dog fighting, you're a racist person. <laughs> you are, you gotta re-examine your, your racism, because it's cultural, you know what I mean? We got bigger problems in the world than a, a couple of fellas having a nice afternoon, <laughs> making some fucking lean, <laughs> and fighting a couple dogs in the parking lot. I don't know why you're mad about that. Yeah, everybody hates dog fighting. Nobody hates the police dogs, right? You know, it's even the, like the media too, like the news. Like, God forbid, one of those police dogs dies. They, the news will do this like bait and switch headline thing where they kind of trick you with the headline because they always report those dogs dying. And they go, "Oh, officer down!" <laughs> but another brave officer killed in the line of duty. And then you read the article and you find out it's about a dog. And you're like, "Oh, this is bad news." This is. this was gonna be a funny story. And it's sad. Yeah. But even other like emergency services couldn't get away with that, right? Like the fire department could never be like, oh, that penguin was the best firefighter we ever had. Right? <laughs> Which is worth it to me just for the mental image of a penguin being sent into a burning <laughs> Wearing the little fireman hat, you know? Because they got that pointy little head and the hat's rigid, so it just wobble. It looked like your drunk aunt wearing a lampshade at a party. It looked like this. It would be just, it would sit on. They'd be like, get in there, buddy. Go save those kids. They'd be like, you think you got him? He's like, no, it smells like Popeyes. He's dead. We lost him. We lost him. We lost another one. I should have. I should have known better about the Penguin Fireman program. The data was wrong. I was, I was thinking because they're from Antarctica, the, the cold would cancel out the fire. If my understanding of Pokemon is correct, penguins the best firefighters.